Hello guys, welcome to yet another edition of the Talk on Tusukfa VNT Mag. Today we'll be looking into the beef between Charisma and Crispy Malawi. Where is it all coming from? Who started it? Where is it going? Stay there because we have to dig deep into this. This has been an epic battle for over eight years. The rivalry dates back to 2016, where both rappers rose to fame. Most Rikarias did his Kubanda, which was a cover for designer's viral single, Panda. It's important to note that by then, Kariz was already on the limelight, I believe you remember. He did Tila with a Donzo. Uh, this single dropped on 7th December, 2015. Since then, the rapper has maintained his relevance. Now, this is where Crispy is coming in. December 2016, Spade dropped uh, this single to Kariz. The single was titled uh, Rasta Wakuya. In this song, Spade was claiming that he is the man with the hype when the two share stage. In this single, Spade also noted uh, that Charisma's failure in responding to beef is because he can't handle it. This is depicted where Spade speaks on how Charisma failed to respond to the beef uh, that the Red Revolver provoked. Remember, by now, Spear was already in the limelight with Ngati Jitsilu. This single was dropped on September 2016 and it featured Ill Mind. This makes them tally. They both gained fame nearly the same time. Even though Charisma's fans claimed that Spear was seeking attention at that time. The only thing that makes people think Charisma was not involved was his sirens. But for how long? Alright, from that time to 2018, we never had no response from Charisma. Probably it was the reconciliation. Until the single Ngide was released, that was Spey featuring Charisma, Saleo and Brackofella. This was maybe the end of all that long time hatred. But was it really? Let's look forward. It was all silence until 2022, where Charisma posted on his Facebook page saying, Rappers who had beef with me while I was minding my own business, Kaya Karia Yanu Ikuyenda Bwanji. I will book one of you guys to come perform Pakwande Pakwatu. This got response from Gwamba, a roughing image. Even though uh, the poster never targeted at anyone, the conclusions pointed to Spey, whose career was struggling at that time. And moving on, 2023. In 2023, Spear regained relevance after dropping tape 2, which had over 1 million audio max streams. The tape also had uh, over a million Spotify streams. According to 265 Venti Mag uh, post February 16, that said uh, Crispy Malawi's fans criticized 265 Venti Mag for not reporting that the rapper has 
hit over a million streams on Spotify with his studio project tape. Spare also uh, posted on his Facebook page saying he has uh, over a million streams on his project. This brought in relevance from the rapper. From then, he has become the biggest figure in Malawi trap music. This has also brought back that comparison, that epic rivalry, that battle between him and Charisma as to who is the king of trap. A lot has been said, so much has happened since the dawn of Spay. Now, Charisma has released a single that is called Muka that features Guamba. This single is also being referred to as a straight beef to the Mario Bros camp that comprises of Spay and his gang, including Crazy G. The funny thing is, Guamba is also indirectly involved in this beef. We don't know yet, but we are going to look at this in the next episode of this segment. So you have to stay tight. But the question still remains, who is the king of trap in Malawi? Put your comment below. Let's talk about it.